My name's Kelvin Rogers. I'm a Yorta Yorta Muddy Muddy man, and this is a little story of my journey. Just growing up, watching all the elders, saying this is their family, and this is the journey that they've been on, and that they painted. And I just wish that, it was just a beautiful thing to see, and I always wish that I could um, paint and do my journey, my story of my people. So I had a good crack at it, and um, I was just very fortunate that they spent some time with me and showed me some ways. So what I'm going for is the earth colours. I'm just um, painting earth colours, because this is what reminds me of home. Just the earth colours. You gotta keep them strong. I reckon to me, that's perfect. I wouldn't want probably any more done to that. I'm living at the Aboriginal Wanganalu Learning Centre. We do a lot of traditional dances for the Yarram and Gippsland area. I've had an exhibition in Galawa, the NDIS building. I had around about 30 paintings for sale. I've done very well for myself with that. Um, I sold some to the old solicitors, some judges that knew me from the past. <laughs> we do a lot of dances for the schools, for the, pro for the hospitals. Um, even, even the football clubs, we paint the football grounds, the football ovals, and we get a lot of people involved. I got involved with the Torch project around about 2014. I was carcerated and I was serving a five-year five year sentence. It's a long time in my me, me, me time. I was um, very fortunate some people come and see me. His name was Kent Morris, and um, he told me that my painting is really cool. He liked the stories, and in the back of my head, and I thought, nah, I just wasn't good enough because the people I was watching growing up, and they, they were some lovely paintings I was always looking at. It's just the stories and, and what I created. And the first time I sold my painting was through the Torch Project in Melbourne, and yeah, they rang me and said that, yeah, I was sold a painting, and I was in a book, and I felt just really happy and excited, and sad at all, all, all at the same time and it was just a really great feeling when somebody buys my artwork. It's very important to me because the stories I'm painting are the history of us Aboriginal people. I like to paint the stories of our journeys, of, of our lifetimes and the battles that we've been through to get where we are still standing today. And it means so much that someone can buy that paint and hang it up in their house and show that story and pass it to the next generation. It's very important, as I, as I say, as, um, being an Aboriginal, you're, you're the man, that I paint the stories of our journeys and my peoples and my families. So I'll pass on to the next generation as it's been passed on to me. Can you explain your Confined 14 piece and what inspired you to create it? Well, this is the building where I created that painting. It's the story of the, third, the three generations of the ladies. It's the three generations that have come through my life. And it's just that I've painted three long generations of the history of the Yorta Yorta people through the Murray, of the Yorta Yorta area of the Murray River. That's my favorite subject is the Murray River. Cause it's home to me. Very important to get my story right and everything I'm aiming for. So I, I wasn't painting the wrong history of my paintings as the your your people and the muddy muddy. The hope is that I can uh, I can pass on my stories and my ability of my painting skills that I can pass on to the next young generation and they can paint theirs.